Shell of Ronald Demon here, this was Zero of Realms, this is the Black Count, and today I'm going to test the new Fusion Lord Elisa. I use Infernal Royal Set, and those are the stats here 12192 attack, 333 attack speed, crit cap, uh, almost. I'm not crit cap, 92 only, and crit damage on almost 300. For artifact, I'm gonna use Soul Siphon, 10 out of 10 and she's max skills and max awakening. I'm going to test here on Guild Boss Belial, our Arena DR DPS, uh, year 3, stage 19, 2021. For stage 19, I'm going to use this OG gear here that everyone gets, and it has the best stats for a free gear. So I want to test if she's able to kill alone the right side of the map without the help of uh, Sulbat Arcana or something that you farm at year 19 or 2021. And guys, everyone thinks that she is designed for gear 3, but they are wrong. Her best performance is in gear 2. I am not kidding, and I am going to prove it on this video. Ok, let's see uh, for Arena, if it's any good. This is the team I am using. But I change Lunar for Elisa. Let's put here on the first position. I'm always checking my arena teams on the trial and not the actual teams. Because I believe if your team clears 8 uh, waves, you have a good team. But uh, you can't clearly test everything all the normal matches. So that's why I'm testing my team here. If, and if it's good the time and if they clear all the wave, I'm going to save it. Okay, let's release here. After she kills the mom who have had his ultimate. Let's place hex. Let's use her ultimate. Okay, it looks good. It looks that she's doing more damage than Idril. The problem is that I remove here now to do more damage, so let's see. Can we kill the last one that always escapes? Come on. Okay, good. Let's place here again. On the same spot here. We have... Should I use Hatsut? Mm, okay, I don't remember my tactic because I have to see Hatsuit's ultimate for some away phases, but I think we are good. Okay, this is the single target wave. Can we kill it? Even if we don't kill it, it's okay because we have a drill and it has its ultimate if they go below. Now we have to use our ultimate correctly. Okay, now, hope we kill everything. Come on. Okay, good. Actually, this is a good team. We are going to the last wave and we are killing the mobs really fast. Maybe this was a mistake to use Idris Ultimate so fast. And. Okay, I, I release here. Maybe I have to put here below. But it's actually a good team. But, I mean, we don't care about the team, we care about Elisa, and I think she's doing great in Arena DR DPS. Uh, better than Lunar, and maybe even better than Idril. We will see the damage at the end. This, this is the first time I'm using this position, it's only for the video, so let's check. And she's doing really good. Okay, she passed, nice. Now let's see her damage on Gilbos. I already made a try with her uh, staying on the stage the entire time and the damage was completely crap. So I'm gonna try again. Now I'm gonna switch her in and out because she does more damage when she is stealth and she stealth for 40 seconds. So I'm going to place her when the boss shield is going to break to do more damage. Now, I already test almost 20, almost every epic on the game, and 
I pick the top 10 and make a video with the same conditions, Twin Fin, Volca, Dolores, buffing them, knowing big, knowing big buff. Now let's see if she's even on top 10 or even top 15, I don't know. I will have the video in the description if you want to check it. Now she's stealth and she's doing damage on the boss. I place her this way because I want to see when she's not stealth and remove her. Okay, now she's not. Let's use ultimate and now release her. Every time you place her, she does more damage. And I think we're gonna have her before the seal breaks again. We're gonna have her. Now you understand the deal, so let's skip to the end and see the result already. Okay, almost done. I believe she is going to die in the last phase because her HP is really low with this set and she's dead. Okay, 10 seconds is dead. I mean, how much damage she can do on 10 seconds? Uh, 1 million? I don't believe it, but let's say she's done 1 million plus. And let's check his G is damage. It's crap. She is not even on top 20. Even uh, Lunar does more damage on the guild boss. So, yeah. Okay, next test is Yare 3 stage 19. I'm going to use a no legendary team just for the fun. And Elisa has the gear I'll show you at the start, the single target one. The OG gear that you get for free. And let's see if she's able to kill the mob on the left side and maybe even the three, four mobs that come also on the left side. If she can, it's gonna be a huge boost because she doesn't need a perfect gear to kill them. And if you are struggling to clear gear at three, it's massive with her. I mean, even if you have only Maul to clear on side and you don't have Hatsut or someone else or Birian with a very good gear, you can clear the right side. Let's see now. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use the drill. Okay, she destroyed the mob. And actually, why use Idris Ultimate? She's gonna melt everything now. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the next pack. And I'm not gonna use Idris Ultimate. Let's release. Because every time you release and place her again, she does more damage. Okay, of course, Sidriel and Maul have very good gear. That's why the boss disappeared. But Elisa is a doable to get the gear. Let's see now again. She's destroyed the ad. And let's check the last pack that is very hard to kill. What the f Okay. Come on, come on, okay, perfect, really nice, she is a huge boost. Okay, let's go straight to stage 21, I tried stage 20 and she can't beat the ads alone without the help of feed drill. You need uh, at least uh, infernal rar sets and then she can clear it. Okay, but let's test with infernal roll stage 10 to 1 if she's able to kill the ads or if we can clear the stage because i think it's hard if she can't beat stage 20 without the help of Idril, it's complicated things okay now let's place hollow now the only thing I'm afraid right now it's if 
she can't kill the ads. How I'm gonna help Brienne? Let's see. I don't have anyone to place to protect the arrow of the boss at the last phase. Now we can place and place our tank. And now the boss is gonna throw the arrow on the tank. But at the last phase I will not have a tank and when I place Brienne, if the boss is alive, it's going to one shot here. Okay. Now let's place our frost guy to slow Idril. Okay, nice. Let's place again Eliza. She's going to kill the mob, I think. Let's slow it a bit. I hope the boss dies soon. And I will not have my Brienne got on one shotted. Come on. Now let's see Eliza's damage. Okay. The mid. What happened? Oh, our tank died, okay. The middle mob is not going to die. Let's place Brian just to be sure. Yes. Please don't kill her. Please don't throw an arrow. Okay. Good. One mob down, but there are two more. So I have to use Idril. She can solo the right side again, even with good gear. Maybe with perfect gear, but who cares? I mean, you want here to... To help you early, to clear the stage. So you need a drill with a really good gear. Uh, she's not best for gear 21, but for gear 19 and even 20, she's perfect. Let's check her damage, let's sell this crap. And yeah, Brienne doing more damage. Okay. I mean, not bad to help you with Gary 3. Let's test here on the last. Okay, guys, this is it. Gary 2, stage 21. I was able to clear stage 19 and 20 with Hydriel Maul, but I wasn't able to clear stage 21 with this team. And until I got Hatsut and she helped me clear the stage. But now I think Eliza is better than Idril on this stage because of her stealth. You can leave her more time, like now. And Idril is here last. And she has low uh, time uh, redeployment, so it helps a lot. Now let's see if her damage is enough. Because Maul, he doesn't have a perfect gear. That's why I use the help of Idril on stage 19 and 20 to help him clear the last ads. If you want to see the video uh, of Jared, I think 20 or 19, I will have him in the description below to see the tactic with Idril. Now let's finish Maul, release, Dolores, Laurel, release. And this is the perfect because you have, you can place Eliza on the middle without needing to boost her ultimate with Laurel. Now, let's wait a bit slow. Okay, use our ultimate. Release. We don't care because you have Elisa stealth, man. Let's release Maul and Dolores. And boom. Okay, this is actually going wood. My heart is pounding because I wasn't think that he's able to do it with only epic DPS. Let's see. I don't want to jinx it. Here is really... I need to be careful. Okay, he's alive. Let's place Olag. Release. Play safe. Uh, let's play Portis looking up. Let's place Regulus. Now we have to place Maul, wait for Dolores to buff him with Invixer. Okay, Laurel. 
and Elisa, this is the hard part. This is the part that I wasn't able to clear with the drill. Okay, Regulus almost died. Come on. Okay, let's release our tanks fast. Now the mobs are dying. Come on, release. I mean, yes, yes, a release. Vortex, a release. Maul, a release. Dolores, is the mob dead? He's dead. Okay. Now, if we don't screw up this one here, and Decimus dies because I place him too soon. Let's wait. One, two, place him. Nice. The tank. Nice. Nice. We got this. I believe we got this. Okay, come on. Hit. Hit, come on. Okay, who? Oh. Let's place Volca. Volca don't die for the first mob. Come on. Nice. Wait a bit. I mean, I don't have to release him. Leave him there. Should I place? Yeah, why not? I mean, we we'll have time. Oh no, she, she can't kill the ads. Did I screw up? Okay, let's play Decimus. Release. Release. Okay, we have Olag. She's our best tank with the best gear. I mean, almost 19k HP. Decim uh, Decimus dead. One. She's normal, okay, Olag, Vortex, I think we got it, I mean, we've done it. We cleared the stage with only Maul and Elisa, this is your movement. What happened, man? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Olag, where? Did he even have any gear on him? Okay, let's go again. Okay guys, almost done, everything looks fine, Baron is alive, this is the last HP, we don't care about time because we are gonna have a boosted stats, because we clear the 3 stars, so it's going to be faster, but it's double, you need really good gear, I will not, I'm not going to lie, but at least it's double. If you don't want to have Kamet on Vienna like me. And let's see the stats. Massive damage. Look at the damage. Okay, she is officially beast for Gia Raid 2. I'm also going to test her on Immortal Codex Fury Stone that is coming on for days. The Piercer Faction Trail and even Gia Argent 2. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.